Hey there, stackers. Big Stack McGee here. How are you doing? Well, it's the weekend. Time for another silver unboxing. And I also have a little story for you. So, I have a colleague I've been working together with for about 12 years now. And when his son was 15 years old, several years ago, he had stopped in our office and I uh, got a chance to talk to him. And I asked him what he was going to spend all his newfound money on. And he kind of laughed and said, well, his next check was going to have to go right to his dad because he had borrowed some money to buy some stuff he wanted. And so I said, oh, so you spent that money before you even earned it, huh? He said, yeah. I said, well, that sounds a lot like uh, what happens when you use credit cards. And so he knew what credit cards were. He didn't own one or anything like that, but uh, he knew what they were. And so I just kind of calmly told him about some of the dangers of credit use, and uh, especially when you're using revolving credit like credit cards, and, and how maybe what he should do is earn the money first, get the money in cash, and then buy, buy things with cash, but before he buys stuff, to pay himself first and to start to save. And he said, yeah, I got a small savings account and whatnot. Well, what I did was, I said, have you ever seen the power of compound interest? And, and he had said that he hadn't. And so I just pulled up a quick spreadsheet off, you know, somewhere online that just shows over time if you have this much money and you keep adding to it a little bit uh, each month and at, you know, wh whatever interest rate, I'm sure I put up 5 or 6% or something, which is probably right now unattainable in terms of uh, savings accounts at banks and money markets and things. But regardless, I just showed him how the power of compound interest over years can work to his advantage if he is a steady saver. Whereas when you're buying stuff with credit cards and you're making payments on a credit card, how the banks use that kind of same compound interest in their favor. And it's like a little light went off and he was just so excited and he kept asking questions. Well, fast forward to today, that was about six years ago. Today, the same individual has just graduated from college and has a really nice job. And uh, I got a chance to talk with uh, his father, and he mentioned me. He said, well, at our last at Thanksgiving, your name came up. And I said, how so? He said he still talks about that time you talked to him about compound interest. And, and uh, what's funny is that all through college and every job he's had, he puts money away from each check for that purpose. And he said that it's changed how he looks at, uh, at money. And I just, you know, it's so funny because this, you know, my colleague... And, of course, this other guy does not know that I have a YouTube channel or that I, you know, invest in precious metals or anything like that. But I think just sound principles on how you live with money is, uh, is something that I treasure. And I'm just glad that I was able to influence um, this young boy. And um, hopefully that sticks with him his whole life and that he can pay it forward as well. But it uh, just goes to show you what a you know, little knowledge can go a long way. So, all right, thanks for listening to that little story. I have a fun little unboxing. I'm going to get... Get it out first, and then I'll tell you a little bit about uh, what I do. All right, so I have a tube of something pop it off here. That's right, Mexican Libertads. Oops. All right, as you can see, I have a roll some old school Libertads. I really like this classic design here. It's got the lettering on the side. Very fun coins. Um, boy, these. I apologize for spilling my whole roll there, but these have some really nice luster to them. I don't know if you can see the cartwheeling there in the, the picture, but these are in really nice condition. Um, so I bought these from an online vendor that I frequent, and these were listed very, very cheaply 
I picked these up for about $18 a piece and they were listed under random Mexican Libertads and they had a picture of both the current version and the classic version and so what I did was I sent them an email and asked them if they just you know a lot of times they do that because they don't want to tip their hat as to what they have they're just hoping to get rid of some stock that they came in but I asked them I said can you please tell me are those the smaller more vintage versions or is that a, is it a modern uh, coin and they said they can't tell me the year but they could tell me that they were the classic and so I decided to jump on them I have one roll of these already and I absolutely adore these coins um, I think of all the the bullion that's out there this is some of the most fun uh, to me these are thicker and a little bit um, smaller diameter than its modern counterpart um, I'm really curious though how they fit in this uh, coin tube because if I remember the last tube that I had did not I did not think that they 20 of them fit into one but let me go ahead and put these in here quick and see how this okay well I guess it's right up to the very rim um, I did not know if they were going to ship them in this so what I did was I thought I'd grab one of these Canadian coin tubes for Maple Leafs and uh, you know they will fit in here let me show you this so I spent two extra dollars to get one of these coin tubes So an entire roll of Mexican Libertads fits into this very easily. Um, and there's some space, of course, so you could probably put about, you know, 24 in these. Um, but they, right up to the brim of these, which makes it very precarious um, in using one of these coin tubes. But I'm just curious um, if anyone else has any knowledge of a better tube to use for the classic Libertad. Um, like I said, with without taping these shut, these actually don't stay on the greatest and uh, on the classic like just coin you know too I think this is coin safe brand what does it say yep this is coin safe um, but they'll still they'll fit really nice in a Canadian tube but again you're gonna have about uh, I don't know three quarters of an inch of space there at the top um, so just curious what you guys are what you guys do if you collect them is there a better tube that's out there for those but um, that's it for this one. Just a fun little pickup at a fantastic price. I was able to pick these up when they were right around $16 an ounce. Um, seem to be in very good condition except for the, the grief that I'm putting them through here right now. But here they are right here. You can see some toning on some of the edges of some of these. But you get a, not a reeded edge. You get the, the nice lettering on the sides. So there it is, a roll of old school Libertads. That's uh, going to be fun to add to the sack. That's all I got for you right now. This is Big Sack and Gee. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll be back real soon. You guys have a good one. Take care.